Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Sector macro virus. This virus infects the global template of Microsoft Word and therefore infects every other document opened or used afterward. We will go ahead and open Word first. We're not going to look at the virus just yet. We can see Clippy's here, he's always hanging out. Maybe he's the mastermind behind the virus. If we look at the macros menu, this is what you should see. So if you've never used macros in Office before, Basically, you can create some small segment of code to repeat and automate a task or something you don't feel like doing over and over. And it generally helps to make life just a little bit easier in most cases. In this case, however, it's going to make our life much, much worse. Let's go ahead and run the virus. So here is Sector's document. It takes a little while to open while it infects your global template. So now that we're here, this is just a generic document. Don't worry about anything that's in here, as all this serves to do is be a file that the virus can infect. And now that we've opened it, it's infected our global template. So now if we take a look at the Tools macro menu, Word just closes, which usually doesn't happen. But Sector has a routine that looks for anybody opening the Tools macro menu and instantly presses Alt F4. Sometimes that produces the amusing effect of Alt being stuck on, which makes it annoying to double click things, but that doesn't happen a lot, so I don't know if I'll be able to capture it for this video. But I'll see if I can. So even going into the Visual Basic Editor doesn't work, so Sector really does not want you looking at the code involved here. So we're going to say File, New File, we're going to make a blank document. This is new. But because we opened it with the global template, which is infected by sector, this will also be infected. We'll call it this is new. Why not? Let's go to my desktop. Where's my desktop? Stop it. There we go. So we're going to close this is new. And uh oh, we hit it. And now it's trying to shut down. I think Alt was stuck on there for just a bit because normally it doesn't ask if you want to shut down when you close Word. But you see we opened this is new. We haven't touched sector at all. We go to macro macros and same behavior. So every single Word document we open or use on this machine is going to be infected and you're not going to be able to look at your macros at all. So that's all well and good but let's get to the fun part. We're going to change the date to July 4th and with the date set, we're going to open it one more time. Let's just use our new Word document, just for fun. So everything's pretty much the same. However, now if we go to Tools Macro, we get a new message box. Congratulations! Today is my birthday, 4th of July. Say OK, OK, it popped up twice for some reason, and then because, of course, we accessed the Tools Macro menu, it closed Word. It also added something into our auto-execute.bat file. Oh, there we go. So Alt has been stuck on now. So I double-clicked my computer, and it's acting like I was right-clicking and going to Properties. So whatever we open is going to be trying to open the properties of it, which is kind of irritating. I'm going to try hitting Alt. There we go. Problem solved. Nothing little percussive maintenance can't fix. All right, my birthday again. Oh no, we stuck it on again, hold on. There we go, much better. So now if we look at our auto-execute.bat file, we can see it's added some lines in here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to say, but we can see it's trying to tell us something when we boot the computer, so let's look at that. So I rebooted, but it's not seeming to want to display our messages. Don't worry, we'll get there. So we didn't see our messages that time. I guess Windows didn't feel like displaying them. But I do have one more payload for you that activates on the 4th of July as well. But we have to be quick about it. The seconds have to be 13 when you access the Tools Macro menu. So we're going to set it to 11 and go, 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 go. Macro, macro, macro. Did I miss it? Yeah, I missed it. Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's get the thing loaded. Get ready. This is intense. 
Alright, we're gonna set it to 10. And go, 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 go. Nope, missed it. Oh, critical error in drive C. You saw it for just a second there, right? Let's see it one more time. I had it, but the birthday message threw me off. Oh, alt. Get out of here, alt. Alright, one more time. Go, 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 go. There we go. So, so we get the message error, critical error in drive C, which doesn't sound good, but I mean, other than word closing, nothing much seems to happen. But if we actually take a look at my computer and auto execute once again, we can see in addition to some more birthday messages, we also have some format commands and it's formatting the drive twice, both drives. So if you have a D drive in addition to your C drive, it's going to format both of those. So we'll get rid of one of these. And we will save it. And now we're going to restart and see what happens. So here's our messages. We can see a lot of uh, C prompts as well. I'd be a little concerned about a gibberish message ending in a smiley face when I'm booting my computer. But what you don't know is that if you sit here waiting long enough, eventually all your data is going to be wiped from that format command. Which of course is not good. Unless you're into that sort of thing. Like me. Alright, we've given it a couple minutes here. Let's try restarting and see if we can still boot Windows. So Windows still boots for now, but given long enough on this screen, eventually your data will be formatted. And I'm a little impatient this morning. So I guess I jumped the gun, because this is kind of a big drive for Windows 98. It's like almost 10 gigabytes. So maybe it just takes it a little while. And if you're a regular user, maybe you're waking up booting your computer, not realizing that it's formatting your drive, think it's just taking longer because it's Windows 98 and it does what it wants. So you go get yourself a cup of coffee, you're waiting to start your work day, computer's still not booting, maybe go for a little walk around the office, come back, eventually you restart, and boom, data's gone. Not good. Alright, I've given it about 10 minutes. I'm going to restart and see if it's done formatting yet. There we go. That doesn't look good. It would appear that our data and operating system is lost. We just had to be a little more patient and wait for it to finish formatting our drive. So that is about it for the Sector Macrovirus. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.